Hello, Michael Brown here. I've come up with a real interesting way to make very high quality 3D lenticulars very quickly using a website called Immersity AI. So I want to demonstrate that today. So I'm going to start a new project and I'm going to take this photo from my desktop and drag it into the window. And here you can see it's animating the photo. The uh, model and the background are, are moving in a circle. Well, for our purposes for making lenticular prints, we want to use this software to create a movie file that we can export. And so the first thing I want to do is select uh, horizontal motion. So now the model is just moving from right to left and left to right. Well, I don't want that looping effect, so I'm going to turn that off. And then I'm going to come down here and for amount of motion, I'm going to raise that up. Animation length, I like to use about five seconds. And then this last part, the focal point, this is critical for the lenticular. We want to line up all the frames on the model's eyes. So I'm going to click on focus point and this button that says set focus point. And I'm gonna come right here and just set it on this eye and click. Okay, and now you can see everything's lined up to that eye. So let's go to export. Now we can do a couple different things here. We can export just the depth map for this image if we want to actually use the image in a depth map to generate a series of frames. But what's even faster is to come up here and go to MP4 Motion Lenticular. And then I'm going to take this higher resolution one, hit next. I can have either 30 frames a second or 60 frames per second. I'll just stick with 30. Great, now I can go to download. And in my downloads folder, it's right here. Okay, so for now we'll close this. I'm going to come over to Photoshop and go File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. I'll look on my desktop and get this animation. Now I won't need all the frames. Five seconds at 30 frames a second would be 150 frames. I don't need that many. Maybe I'll limit to, to every third. Okay, here we go. If we look at our layers panel, we can see layer 50 and layer one. So we have our 50 frames. Now I'm going to export those. And I'll make a new folder on my desktop. Called Frames to Interlace. I will save those as JPEG with a quality of 10. Okay, so that took a little bit of time. Now let's hide our Photoshop. And we'll come over to Lentigram, which is interlacing package. I'm going to grab my frames. Just do command all. All right. Putting in the output resolution I want. 1440 pixels per inch. 
The lens I'm using today is a uh, MicroLens 3D60. Pitch test measures 60.1. My picture is going to be 7 by 7, 9 inches. I'm going to put a qu quarter inch border around it. And before I interlace, I just want to preview this to make sure the frames are in the correct order. So I'm going to grab a left frame here and a right frame here. And I'm going to view that. And no, that is pseudoscopic. The elephant's forward of the woman. So let's change that. We'll come over here. Go to reverse sequence. Now we'll grab a left and right frame again. And that's perfect. So she's forward. Oh, the, the stereo window is very nice too. There's no violations. She's pretty much just behind the plane and the elephants are in the background. I like that. So now let's interlace that. I'm going to save that on the desktop. Model um, Safari. 50 frames. 60.1. So now Lentagram is doing its interlacing magic. And of course I'm using Lentagram. You could use any other interlacing program, 3D Master Kit, Grape, Super Flip, you know, whatever you prefer working with. Okay, all done. Let's hide Lentagram. Here's our interlaced file in Photoshop, and let's print that out. We're going to go to my Epson printer, letter size paper. Photoshop will manage the colors. I actually have a custom ICC profile for my printer, and I will hit print. So we'll pause right here and get a look at the final print. So here's the finished lenticular on the light box. It turned out great. I printed it on the Epson. I placed a microlens 3D60 sheet over it and I lined it up. It looked terrific. I was really impressed with how great it turned out and how quickly I was able to make it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give Immersity AI a try. See you next time.